So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week nine. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the seasonal challenges for the week plus eight of one and then Eververse at the end. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Do be aware that next week, week 10 should be the last week of the challenges. At least that's how it usually rolls out. I don't know if they're going to do more challenges because this is a longer season. But if this follows how season of the lost was, then it does not have more challenges. So just to let you guys know, because you guys are going to want to complete some of these if you guys want to get the bonus bright dust at the end. And as you guys can see, I'm at 24, have not been playing the game at all. But again, we have such a long season that you guys should be able to nail this out. So again, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, Dragon's Defender 5? 5. five. Defeat targets with pulse or scout rifles gain additional progress from guardian final blows and final blows within Riven's Lair or the coil. Not hard. I would probably be using a pulse rifle just because that pulses are a little bit more fun to me. But there are some really good exotics that you could be using for scout rifles. Lost in the legend. Complete a lost sector on legend or higher. Not hard. Legend is like the base uh, difficulty and then master is the higher one. So it's up to you really. I would do master if you really want to farm some uh, exotics. But... It really don't matter. Over specialized. Get final blows with weapons in the energy slot while in ritual weapons or ritual activities. Earn bonus progress by defeating guardians. So this one's not hard. Um, just do ritual activities. There is Iron Banner this week, which should count as a ritual activity. That being said, I don't know if it would. Either way, not hard at all. Iron Iron. Complete Iron or Crucible matches. Earn bonus progress in Iron Banner for and for activities. This is pretty cool. I really appreciate that they started doing um, cr like Crucible matches and then Iron Banner is bonus because uh, after Iron Banner is done, this would essentially be unobtainable. So this is pretty cool that they started doing this. But Iron Banner is this week. So if you guys want to complete this, more than happy to do it, man. Defeat champions in any Nightfall Strike on hero difficulty or higher earn bonus progress at higher difficulty tiers um we'll see what which uh, what nightfall it is to see if it's an easy one but i would literally just do nightfalls on hero difficulty and just like kind of turn your brain off and then calibrates close range calibrate close range weapons sidearms submachine guns shotguns lathes and swords bonus progress for defeating guardians so i would literally do actually we can just back out now so i would literally just be doing like smgs not you smgs and uh, what, shotguns that's i i would literally be just be running that on the edz most most of the time uh or or if you want to be smart you could actually combine this with let me see if i can find one uh let's see oh i can complete this one complete iron banner match oh i gotta complete this one this is the unattainable one um so I would do it like a Nep Neptune or whichever one we have, like another planetary one, just because it'll be easy just to, or easy. There we go. So I would be doing this here or here just because again, I'd be killing two birds with one stone and getting those two completed faster than I really would because I'd be doing the, uh, the lost sectors, this, this one and this one specifically, I'd never do this one just because it's not worth it. But these two, you go in, kill a bunch of stuff and then back out. This one, you have to do a whole, like you have to go around the whole thing, kill all the enemies and then have the doors open. So I don't like that one. These two are much easier for that. So yeah, let's actually go to nightfall real quick. Like I said, I would, um, hyper net current. Ooh, I don't. I don't think there is okay so like if you do the master no not master because that that'd be fucking terrible legend i think legend would be fine you get bonus for grenade launchers which is nice i don't remember if there's any in the beginning if there's any champions in the beginning that'll be easy because you can kill the first one and kill yourself and then kill the first one again if you're really like not wanting to do nightfalls because again nightfalls are kind of boring but that one's pretty fun so i would probably just do that one and just turn my brain off but actually does it let me hold on sorry sorry this is taking longer but let me see defeat champions in any nightfall oh okay so yeah it has to be in the nightfall sorry i was trying to think of can i think of another way to get out of that so as for the shaders we have Berguzian knight which i think is one of the best shaders in the game Ugh, it's so good that being said the off color is pretty rough it really is rough but if you are careful and don't have that off color i think it's one of the best shaders in the game especially because it has like uh like a graphic you can see like all of this forges symbols going through it it's really cool 
We have uh, Flowers of Io Warn. This is the rare one because the Warn set never got sold uh, aside from Ada, but outside of that, it was never like given. So this is definitely worth a pickup in my opinion, just because Flowers of Io is the Io shader, just Warn. So the next one's gonna be New Monarchy Diamonds. I love this shader. This is one of my favorite shaders in the game just because it's so good. It actually looks really good with this setup that I have right now. Uh, ignore the cloak. That's not the cloak that I usually go with this. Actually, if I'm being honest, the ornament I have, I'm supposed to put the ornament ornament on it, but I don't, the ornament's not out yet for uh, Bright Dust. Once it comes out for Bright Dust, you guys will see that. So as for the armor set, they're all right here. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The more I look at this armor, the more I can I get disappointed because for the hunters, you guys will see that there's like a, like white like a stripes on the actual like helmet, like the visor. Uh, those don't change color. The yellow does not change color. So the, the one the yellow on the boots if I remember co correctly the yellow on the arm does not change color The chest piece is really cool because it does have that like Hunter insignia buckle, which is really cool But yeah, is there just way too many problems with this the cloak also has yellow and some pieces that don't change color So for for the hunters a lot of it is an L hunt Titans I'm gonna be real with you a lot of the red boxes that you see do not change color um, and then the copper on the arms and the boots do not change color as well. Other than that, all, all of it really does change color. I think the helmet is probably the best piece from this whole set. And Warlocks, um, I think all of it is terrible. It's a worse version of an armor set that we already have in game, which I'll show you guys after we're done looking at the armor. But the helmet's okay. The chest piece, again, is a weaker version of, it, of a piece that we already have. And the arms and boots are kind of forgettable. And the bond, I didn't even know there was one there. So let me actually show you real quick the one I'm talking about. Because I definitely think that the armor is fucking terrible for Orlox. Like, legitimately. Because you can always just get... Where are you? Uh, this one. So the new monarchy one, you can always just get this one. And it's going to be almost the same it's just that this one is way better now if you don't have the new monarchy one um don't be don't worry we do have another one which is the philomath suit this one is almost a one-to-one -one. it's just the difference is the uh other one is a lot better in my opinion just way better but it does hold a lot of the same things the metallic pieces are still there it's just that the other one i think is just again way better like legitimately is cool to be fair, I don't even know what the difference is, but this one just looks better to me. It's probably, honestly, it's probably just a shader. Like, honestly, it's probably just a shader difference. But uh, that, I think this might be the only thing that's different is the new monarchy symbol. But I'm still going to say this is the better one. So that is pretty much it for Ada. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up as for Eververse. Let's go real quick. So for the shader, Whispered Sheen, oh my god, this shader is amazing. It gives you a good wood, wood texture. It does have an off color, which you guys can see right there. It's a green. I have made a video on this. I'll put it poster right now. You guys can see the off color is a light brown, and then the main color is a brown brown. And yeah, I definitely would recommend this shader. Again, check out the shader video if you guys want to check it out, because I do think this shader is worth it. For the other shader, Metropolitan Acoustics, this is the Buzz Lightyear shader. So if you want to pick that up, definitely pick it up. We have Reef Oracle, which is pretty cool. This would go for this. Go, this would go well with an Awoken theme hunter or a Guardian in general. Uh, e99 Eggshell. I don't know. Why I'm trying to say E99. The Eggshell. This, I'm pretty sure this is from fucking Wally, bro. Uh, high Seas Dance. You're a pirate, essentially. And then for the other stuff, we have Omnipotentia. Op Omnipotentia. I guess you would say which is just the beat one i kind of want to get this but not for eh, that's fairly tively cheap uh war torn peregrine which does look really cool i just don't think i would like actually rock it uh celestial kestrel this one does look really cool though uh wander shell doesn't look terrible actually uh unacceptable Okay, let's go back. Unacceptable. There we go. Pretty sure this is from Adventure Time. Uh, stress Ball. That's funny. And then for the transmit effects, Inflorescence. Whatever. Reef Shimmer. This would be a good Awoken one as well. 
uh, reflection effects. I think this one would be for like if you're doing um, a Vex or if you have a um, Osiris uh, cosplay. Trinity. Like I like this green if it was on like plate armor. If it was on plate armor, I think that would go really hard. But this doesn't look terrible, I guess. Um, we have Lucid, one of my favorite shaders in the game. Oh, shit, it looks good with this set. Wow. Yeah, this shader is definitely dope. Pick it up. Uh, Chin and Slate. Oh, my God. I should make a video on Chin and Slate because people sleep on this one. I don't think people sleep on this, but I don't see it a lot uh, in the in the world. But this is a good shader if you want to turn off glows. has a really good gold. Um, the only problem is it has so many colors. Like, right now, it's doing a good job of hiding a lot of the colors, but you guys will see the purple red like beige no brown then white and then beige and then gold and then this is an off gold actually because it's a it's a better gold than this so there's a lot of colors to this one but if you want to like turn off glows this is the shader you want and then verdigris verdigris i hate that like i like the color of the off color but i feel like i would have to lean into that off color because it kind of looks weird without other off colors with it but other overall i like the shader look so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I will be, so I will be posting this around 2 p.m. my time because a video just came out at 12 p.m. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll post this one at 2 because then the short video of that video is coming out soon. So I have a lot of videos planned for, for you guys right now. I'm currently working on the anthemic stuff. So right now i'm going through the worm guard stuff uh, the hunters should have been out today titans will be tomorrow and then warlocks will be the day after and then we'll do the anthemic stuff but within those videos you guys will see i'm going to be working on the, the exotic ornaments for the classes so this one right here uh hunters are going to be first then titans and then warlocks usually how i do it this one might come out tomorrow um if everything goes according to plan then this one should be coming out tomorrow with the tight end video and then the short for this one will be the day after uh, so like i have a lot of content planned for you guys it's i know i say that quite a bit but man i'm actually working through it quite a bit right now this looks pretty cool i'm not gonna lie i'm working on it right now so give me some time also remember that the undying stuff is back i have a video re reviewing the video the, the, reviewing the armor and the shader videos are both right here and i already have the class specific one i didn't do a hunter titan warlock video like i traditionally do because this one was very vex themed and i didn't want to have these same pieces of the same sets in a video because that's literally what i was going to do so let me know what you guys think if you guys want to see other types of content let me know in the comments below i am thinking about doing some more pve stuff because right now currently i'm just throwing you guys a lot of fashion stuff and i want to have a little bit more variety within destiny 2 because i don't want to be in one hole and very like a niche within a niche i don't want to do that for myself so i will have some conversation videos because i do have a lot written down so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys uh, i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later